what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are going to finish up ghost of shishima today hopefully i don't know i don't think there's much left to do there's a couple of missions i think you got to do with the uncle and then whatever um and then we'll watch the credit roll or whatever and i'll talk about the game and how i felt how i feel about it um so we'll see how that goes but in any case the con is dead great game so far um i don't know how ghost of shishima did not win ghost of the year over the last of us 2 and when it comes when it when it <sighs> the last of us part 2 was yeah you know i'm saying i'm probably gonna have to sit down and play that game for myself because you know i judged it based on the story because that's what that game is all about it's not about mechanics it's not it got famous because of the last the last first part one right which was an incredible story and they completely shit the bed with the second one in my opinion i watched the entire story play out all the main stuff right no, not the side stuff and the gameplay mechanics you know um when you're talking about graphics and all of that um was it a better game than goes to shishima in terms of graphics probably you get what i'm saying when you're talking about realistic graphics I think The Last of Us definitely got Ghost of Tsushima on that. But I think in my opinion, in just my opinion, I feel like an outright storytelling. Um, I, feel, I feel like Ghost of Tsushima so far, even though I have not finished the game yet, which I'm going to be doing the last couple of missions right now. I feel like Ghost of Tsushima has a better story so far and I haven't even finished it yet. I feel like when it comes on to the emotional side of it, um, you know, if you really wanted to get a reaction out of your, you know, your, um, what do you call it? Your people, your audience, whatever. Last of Us Part 2 did that for sure. But the thing about it is this, like, it, that's not how you introduce a new character to a franchise. That's just not how you do it. You don't, you know, let me stop talking about Last of Us Part 2. Let's just go finish the game. I will talk about everything like this in the review of Ghost of Tsushima. But as you can see, they say not to wear green when you're in front of a green screen because you're going to become invisible. But you can see, I don't care. <laughs> so let's get to... All right, let's do it. All right, so I need to go, I think I need to go somewhere with, um, or is it here? Um, yeah, we just gonna finish the game because I'm pretty sure we can do all that after. So let's see, what's here? I'm gonna tell you guys this right now, I am, Tsushima is Avenging Demon, The Broken Mask, okay. Good. You... Okay, there's something going on here. Am I supposed to meet with somebody here? Where are they? I'm trying to get to the mission. Where is the mission? Where is the mission? So I don't know. All right, we are stranded in Tsushima. Apparently, I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to because it the icon is not here Am I supposed to follow the bird? The icon is not there. I don't know. I don't know Where to go is he out here waiting on me or something? Whoever it may be I don't know what where is this bird leading me? Okay. 
this and then my lord I think there's something on okay what am I supposed to do man what is this okay let me see something oh there it is supposed to meet up with this dude alright All right, let's get it, man. There shouldn't be much left. I think if I remember correctly, the last time I played, we we're supposed to meet up with Unk or something. You know. Okay, don't put that away, man. <laughs> Bow. Okay. I'm doing all sorts of stuff because I'm trying to remember what I'm doing here. <laughs> it has been a while since I played, guys. Been a while. You serious right now? How far is it? Hundred meters. Are you serious right now? I'm gonna have to swim. Apparently so. Thought I could just go around. Let's cross the river, yeah. Let us cross the river. Mm -hmm. We're crossing the river. Crossing the river. Who's that? I do not remember how to fight. <laughs> That's what happens when you haven't played a game in like a month. So this is gonna suck ass. Whoa. Whoa. See if I remember. Man, this guy, man. How do you climb up here? Remember a little bit, I guess. Am I going the wrong direction? What the hell? Oh, no. Hold still. People said you died while killing the Khan. I'm so glad it's not true. Finally. Thank you, my lord. You're safe now. My lord. Top damn. Woo. Let's go, man. Where is... Where am I going, bro? Wind. Okay, why is the wind... Travel to old sparring circle by... Om oh, here we go. Yo, can we drop down? Jeez. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Can we? But why do I have to do that? I should just die. It. Lord Shimura is here. 
I'll wait for him on the dock. So he wants to meet with me. I don't know. Jin, you have been very disappointing. <laughs> You were supposed to be the child of prophecy to take over the clan. <laughs> Jin. Uncle. I wasn't sure you would come. I wanted to talk with you. If we work together, we can drive off the remaining Mongols. Start rebuilding our home. That is not your duty. Damn. The has disbanded Clan Sakai. Damn. Like today, that? You are no longer samurai. I sacrificed everything for my people. And I would do it again. You damn right. You and your honor <laughs> can suck it. The place we lost. They will occupy your land and estate. Damn, they're gonna lose my. They're gonna take my home too. I have to say goodbye to my home. That is some bull crap, bro. Ride with me. And they did nothing. That's the worst thing about it is that they didn't do anything. They ain't do nothing. When it was time to get down and dirty, they were all like, our honor. <laughs> our honor. If you don't get out of here with you, I mean. Will you remain in Chito of Tsushima? Yes. Shogun asked me to train his warriors to fight the Mongols. Good. They won't give up until they've conquered all of Japan. I will spend what years I have left ensuring they fail. A task I hoped we would face together as father and son. You can still remarry, start a new family. Yes, I suppose I can. Looks like you could use a push. Here, let us help you. Do not trouble yourselves, my lord. Nonsense. You can't do it alone. You're much too kind. The mud is sicker than it looks. That's a heavy load. Where are you headed? Jogaku. The ghost army is up there. He has an army. You didn't hear? They'll sail for the Mongol steppes with a storm at their back. Burn their homes to the ground. An impressive goal. This is everything I can offer them. I hope it helps. Then we will see you on your way. Thank you, my lord. Jogaku is many miles from here. Keep away from the mud and the Mongols. I will. I have no idea what he's talking about. Not here. Follow me. Come on. I don't have an army. Every day, more people flock to your cause. The Shogun is concerned. I am concerned. You have nothing to fear. When the new clans arrive, will people bow to their samurai? Or betray them in the name of the ghost? I won't let them do that. They'll listen you to me. You openly defied me, Jin. My most trusted warrior. You taught our people to disobey their leaders. Man! What makes you think? Your followers will obey you. Oh. 
because they believe in me? Y'all would have sat down and let all the people die. You know what I'm saying? My family cemetery. The resting place of seven generations of Sakai. Including your mother. And my father. We must pay our respects. I just don't understand what, what he wanted. Listen, it wasn't perfect. What, what, um, what Jin did. It's not perfect. But at least he took, uh, you know what I'm saying? The front lines got your ass rescued you. You know what I'm saying? Came and got you. He literally sacrificed so much. Traitor. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Oh. The ghost was an outlaw. He taught our people to defy them. So it's not just you gonna take my land? With poison. A gift you gave to our enemy. I had to stop you from throwing away our people's lives. Bars. You have no honor. <laughs> And you are a slave to it. Mm. Mean bar. <laughs> you are my son. Now I must continue the line of Shimura without you. I must start a new family. And my head is the cost. Taking it. Is my punishment. Hey, you could, yeah, I'm saying, just forget all this and I'll find a day to get up. Uh, like, the, the thing about it is, he, I think it's a very cowardly move on his uncle's part. It's like, I'd rather kill you than stand up to the shogun. Yeah, I'm saying, I don't think he, I don't think, uh, I don't think he. Wholly disapprove. You know what I'm saying? I think there's some part of him knew that Jin has to do this, but because I think in a selfish kind of way, he feel, felt like he had to do this. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about the entire thing. I don't know why Unk think he can, he, he can stand up to me. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Tears. I understand what he's going through, you know what I'm saying, but I don't want to fight him. You know what I'm saying, reflect on lost. Okay. Hands that shaped the world. I don't need to see nothing else. Let's see. A bond broken forever. Let me see what the others. Destiny divides our soul. A fate neither of us wants. Hmm. Will death redeem us? I fight without hope. We, we, we don't go to those will death redeem us let's see hands that shape the world fate neither of us want will death redeem us 
That's a fire high Q right there. High Q, I should say. I <laughs> said high Q. Oh, memories. Your parents will always be with you. Yes, Uncle. I will train you to become the strongest warrior Clan Sakai has ever known. I will raise you as my own son. Are you ready? Nah, bro. We out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get out of this I situation. Ready. I didn't want to have to fight you, but it seems like that's what's going to have to happen. There's... It's kind of nuts. Man, the music is so epic in this game, bro. Like, come on, man. What you got, Unc? Let me see your move. I don't I want to hurt you. What you got, Unc? Nope. Oh, my God, no. This is what happens when you haven't played a game for a long time, bro. You just get Molly Wops. The wounds you dealt my spirit will never heal. Killing me will only make them worse. I don't want to hurt you. Damn it. Eat, eat. This man really trying to two, three piece combo me right now. Revenge. This is not my revenge. It is my punishment. Ooh, let's go one more time. It can be only one, baby. Let's go. going down like this on the way with the warrior's death come on bro they gonna really let me choose this is not fair bro let him live and walk away I wonder if this decision Hopefully this decision plays into the next game because that would be awesome if you made a decision and you can like continue the story like without him or with him still being alive, being hunted, hunting Jin or whatever the situation is. Let him live and walk away and honor his wish for a death. Okay, we, we, we he asked for this, so I'm giving it to him. So I'm going to honor him because, <laughs> you know, is honor, but... I don't know. Maybe I should spare him so that I can prove to him that I'm not like him. Because that honor is what he lives by. That's why he's asking for death. So maybe I should go against that to prove to him that we don't we don't have to be enemies. I don't know, man. I really think I should I really think I should kill him because he w he wants to be honored. Ooh. 
Oof. This is a tough one. No, I man, we gonna honor him, bro. We gonna honor him. <laughs> I'm here thinking like this is real life decisions or something. <laughs> we gonna honor him. He wishes for death. I think that uh, this is gonna hurt Jin like crazy, though, man. I don't know. This is gonna hurt Jin because if if he kills his uncle. It would be nice if they could mend their relationship later, but I don't think that's going to happen because they banished me. Oh, man. And he's if he lives, he's going to have to live with that regret and he's going to have to face the Shogun. So the Shogun might end up killing him too. So, ah, this is a tough decision, man. Why, Sucker Punch? Why? I mean, we love this kind of stuff when it comes on to stories and we want, you know, to be able to choose. But my God, man, this is a tough decision. See, in The Last of Us Part 2, if they had put a decision like this, it would have been easy for every anybody that played the game. would have been pretty easy for the ending, if you know how the ending is. It would have been pretty easy for it to choose but they you know they just choose this story for you how they wanted it to go and they didn't give you a choice so this is a way better way to end the game ah <sighs> but i don't know man maybe i should prove to him that i'm not like him i'm a spear him bro i'm a spear him i don't know i feel like it'll be a more interesting storyline if he's alive Cause he still has wife and wife. Yeah. Damn. Probably gonna have to play it over to see what happens if they, if you kill him, or how it ends. Probably gonna have to go back and see that. Maybe. I have no honor. But I will not kill my family. See what I'm saying, man. The ghost will be haunted for the rest of his days. I know. I take up the the, the mantle. This, this is pretty Cool, man. Damn, he looking at Jin. Bumps right there. All right, so while the credits roll, I will be talking over this to give my review of Ghost of Tsushima. Um, first off, let me say this is an absolutely great work. I'm definitely giving this a very high score. Um, you know I'm saying out of ten, I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. I'm going to tell you guys why I took off the point five. Um, You know, no video game is perfect. You know what I'm saying? No video game is perfect. I gave God of War uh, a, a 9.5 out of 10 as well when I played it. I didn't review it, but I can tell you right now, if I did, that's the score it would have gotten. Because it's not perfect by any means. One of the best games I've ever played in my entire life, just like this game right here. 
you know, but Ghost of Tsushima, it has its faults. There were things that, you know what I'm saying, that wasn't clear cut. So I'm gonna get the one little negative I have about the game and let you know, right? So what I had a problem with was there were times when I got stuck. Not because I didn't know where to go, but because the game there's these missions in the game where you have to find these things to get these skills right to unlock these skills and they give you a little map on the screen and kind of give you an idea of where the um where it could be but the wind doesn't guide you to it and in an open world game i'm not saying that the game should have told me where to go I'm just saying it, they could have made it a little bit more specific or there were times when I was there for like a good 10, I want to say a good 10 minutes looking around for some of these um, places, just running around in circles because I'm like, I see that there, you know, so it's not really clear cut. It's like you get like one clue to figure out where it is and it could be, you know, a thousand meters away from where you at and you don't really notice because so many things kind of look alike on the screen so it creates this weird scenario right it creates this weird scenario where i'm trying to figure out where this stuff is so i think i don't know maybe i'm just the only one that found that uh, they could have made that a little bit more clear cut and maybe you guys didn't have a problem finding this thing because there's no there's no thing that says oh you're you know because you're looking for something that's hidden it's a hidden secret in the game so you're looking for something that's not clear cut telling you where where to find it right um and in open world games you have those things that you might stumble up on but and when you get clues and stuff like that you can find it because the clue is very clear cut on where you can find the thing right and i'm not the type of person who's gonna go to youtube you know just to figure out where things are you get what i'm saying so i'm gonna sit there for the time it takes me to find it so i think because it annoyed me because i was recording i know i could I, there's a lot of times that i cut things i don't know if you guys noticed that in my recordings and my 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 videos that i cut out certain parts when i was looking for stuff and you you probably thought you know oh he just cut it there but yeah that was a you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so Oh, it's pretty cool. It was, you know what I'm saying? It was pretty, it was pretty cool to find the stuff, but at the same time, it was not, you know, I remember this one mission also where I was looking for, for, um, I think it was like some, I don't remember what they call them, but it was like something by the water, right? And then when I got down there and I cleared the village, I was supposed to collect this flower that's supposed to be, they just give you the name of it. They didn't tell you that it was in the water. They didn't tell you that it was by the water. So I'm there for a good 20 to 30 minutes looking for this thing and around the place where, it, where they have it marked on the map. So they have this little circle that you're searching within that area to find what you're looking for. And it's like, what is this thing? It's not highlighted, <laughs> right? It's absolutely not highlighted like the rest of the items. You know, like if you're picking up iron or something like that on the ground, it's it glows a little bit, right? It was not doing that. So I was like, was the game glitch? I completely started over the game a couple of times, actually to see if it was glitched out the mission was glitched and it was glitched. so i'm definitely um it wasn't glitched it was just that they probably forgot to make that thing you know highlighted or something like that so i'm taking off half, a half a point for those issues i think they could have executed that stuff better and as i said no video game is perfect they all have flaws all the technicalities are not going to work the way you want them to work right so let's talk about the positives of this game and this was an awesome 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 experience from start to finish you know um the mechanics of the game the sword playing the sword playing the game 
just the gameplay overall not even talking about the story yet just the gameplay over overall the core cor choreography the videography the um the sound design i mean all those things is a 10 out of 10 for me like i could not have expected a samurai game to be more compelling and realistic and grounded you know what i'm saying and i mean there are some gimmicky things it's still a video game you know what i'm saying um you can't expect a guy to be jumping off at the top of roofs you know what i'm saying stabbing dudes in the neck bone you know <laughs> you know <laughs> you know what i mean like you know um i guess ninjas used to do that or or whatever the situation is but it's just it's the game mechanic the way how he jumps the flat i was not grounded so much but definitely when it comes on to the sword fights i enjoyed that mostly about the entire play like the I, I don't even like really using the items it's only like later in the game i started using them um a lot but for the most part not even the standoffs i enjoyed as much as just fighting dudes like i love to have five seven dudes around me ready to get mowed down and to not take any damage during that sequence too is very satisfying you know what i mean so for me it was just awesome on that plane okay so i don't want to dive too much into into that stuff because you know the credits are about to finish rolling um so i'm just going to talk about the story just a little bit um i think the story was incredible i think in my opinion and this is very subjective in my opinion this was a better story than the last of us two and i'm gonna tell you you can talk about you know jin not having any facial expression i heard people saying that and i'm like what are you talking about that's who he is that's how they're trained as samurai to not really show emotions you don't really see much of his emotions until he's really in like a battle 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 like when he's fighting someone when he's in the showdown when he saw taka die when he you get what i'm saying those are the t the scenes you want to pay attention to you know what i mean those are the scenes you need to pay attention to not when you know he's having just you know seeing a stranger by the road and stuff like that like you know what i'm saying like for me you know what i'm saying expression in 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 those scenes are you know what i'm saying he still could show expressions i guess they could have gone in depth with that a little bit i'm pretty sure ghost of shishima 2 is going to be absolutely incredible they're going to have all of those things that we talked about negatively and all those things that we had an issue with and think they could do better because i mean even through that the game still got what uh, high 80s on metacritic it was highly praised almost one game of the year so throughout all of that you know what i'm saying i think it's very minor things that they could polish out for the next game and the next game is going to be exclusively for the ps5 i can imagine that it's not going to be no backwards you know what i'm saying being on both platforms which is the ps4 and the ps5 i believe that this um the next game ghost of tsushima 2 is going to be exclusive for the, the ps5 only and the graphics is going to absolutely look at what they did for the ps4 bro for the ps4 look at what they did for the ps4 the way how this game looks like you know what i'm saying it's the same feeling i had when i what when i was playing god of war i'm like how do they achieve this on this machine it's absolutely yes feel like your ps4 is going to take off but at the same time you know what i'm saying but at the same time it's still fulfill that purpose that you want it to do which is play the game you know what i'm saying um so i really do appreciate them for telling uh, telling the kind of story that you know not only did it feel like you get some sort of finality to it but it also leave doors open for a story to be built upon you know what i'm saying like they're they're not thinking about making another last of us um too it was too much controversy around around that video game and everybody's like oh you know th there was just there was just too many things in that game that just it, it just felt too much like an agenda was was being pushed you know what i'm saying um it just felt that way and you know they won game of the year so i'll give them props for that 
Um, I, I think eventually down the line, I'm probably going to play that game because I know they just released um, the 4K. I think it is a 4K 60 FPS on PS5, um, you know, update for it. So I might pick it up and play it. Maybe I'll stream it or something to enjoy it for myself or if I can enjoy it for myself because um, I know what happens in the story. But I heard that the gameplay mechanics is really good. You have to, you know, play it to really enjoy that part of it so i'll probably do that down the line at some time but when it comes on to story man when it, um from you know from the beginning to the end of everything that took place it just felt like even between all the things that you do around this big ass map right even through everything that you do you still felt every time you get back to the main story you still felt like you just jump right back into it and you felt like it's a new experience again. And that's how I felt about it. And when you can create an open world and have a story around it, that's very, con you know what I'm saying? Very, you can follow it. You can say, okay, this is where I'm at in the story, blah, blah, blah. That's a great thing because this is a straight up open world game and there's no, there's a lot of fluff. But at the same time, the main story is just so meaty and convincing. You immediately want to jump into a next main mission right after you finish one. So they did an excellent job with keeping you engaged. Kind of, you, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, it's not structured like how God of War was structured. You know what I'm saying? Because God of War was more linear, more than, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, it's like a, a hybrid between open world and a, a story driven linear game. You know what I'm saying? So you had kind of an open world, but you but the story is what really carried God of War and the gameplay as well. So when it comes on to Ghost of Tsushima with this big open world, even though not all the map is open at first, of course, that's for all open world games. You know, you got to do things, to open up the world. Um, but they did an excellent job. Like I can't knock them. I really can't knock them for. You know what I'm saying? For what they did here. You know what I mean? I can't knock them for, for what they did here. I just have to, like, just look at it from the perspective of it, it was great. Um, I think in terms of altogether goodness of a whole package, I think they deserve to win Game of the Year. You know what I'm saying? You know, from all the good things that I, that I hear. And I was wondering... You know, from all the good things and the great reviews that Ghost of Tsushima was getting, even though I, I didn't play it yet, I was like, this easily should win Game of the Year because there was so much backlash and people returning The Last of Us Part Two. People don't want to play it and stuff like that. That game went on sale so quickly because Sony was trying to sell it so bad because they dropped the price so fast into the, the game's life cycle. Ghost of Tsushima is still $60. It is still $60. <laughs> Dude, Ghost of Tsushima is still $60. There was a couple of times that it went on sale um, last year during some, you know, sale um, in, the P in, the, in the PlayStation Store. But if you go to look, I don't think it's on sale right now. But you can, I think you can get Last of Us Part 2 for like 30 bucks right now. That game hasn't been out a year yet. It's coming up on a year soon. None of these games have been out a year yet, right? But the time, I think the first time Ghost of Tsushima went on sale was when the DLC got released. And that was like, I think it was like one, I want to say uh, on the game dropped in July, I think. Because that's when I picked it up. And I think, I think it was October or was it September? I think it was like September, like the end of September, the DLC dropped. Um, I don't remember exactly when, but for all I, all I know, that was the first time Ghost of Shima was on sale. Last of Us went on sale a month in. That don't happen with Sony exclusives. So I thought that because of the reviews and stuff like that, that Ghost of Tsushima was going to win Game of the Year. But hey, Last of Us still won it. I give them props for that. Um, they didn't have, I mean, in my opinion, a lot of people were saying that Hades should have won game of the year as well. Um, 
So when it comes, I haven't played Hades yet. I know that it's a, a roguelike game. I haven't played it. I don't know if there's a, gro a great story behind it um, or whatever the situation is. I know it's like a type of game, like how they did Returnal. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to have to see how things turn out with that. I might end up playing Hades at some point as well. Um, might not record the gameplay for that but we'll see how things go but in any case guys as i said man great story was an excellent decision to to let us choose at the end um the fate of the uncle and i hope that in the second game i hope in the second game that they're going to address that i hope they don't just leave it open-ended and just decide i hope that for whatever you chose for that game save that you have, that that's the decision that continues into the rest of the story. Like how I chose to save him, you know what I'm saying? Like it should start out with him being alive. Now, if you chose to kill him, then it should start out with him being dead. They can't just start the story and just make the decision for us because I think that, you know, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, or give us, give, you know, whoever never played the game or they just jumping into Ghost of Tsushima 2, they could give them the choice of being like, you can choose how your, how your story continues from Ghost of Tsushima 1, you know what I'm saying? For those who don't have a save file for, for Ghost of Tsushima 1, which I think everybody should play this game before they play the second one because... I'm pretty sure the second one is not going to be some standalone game. It's kind of like God of War. You can jump in like pretty much everybody that just jumped in and played God of War. The last one went back and played the other the, the other four games. You know, God of War 1 through 3 and God of War Ascension. They went back and played those games because they wanted to know the story of Kratos and why he had this kind of relationship with his son. And I, you know, I believe that everybody should experience Ghost of Tsushima 1 before they play part two as i have so hopefully they do something of this world but we'll see we will see anyways guys that is my review for ghost of tsushima this was an excellent experience man finally got some time to sit down and finalize everything i guess hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplays and stuff like that i know it's not you know, like other people, I don't get super excited and stuff like that. I'm just not that type of guy. And, and I, I can only be myself. Um, you know, I can only be myself. If stuff is exciting and the story is fire and it's sad or whatever, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'll shed tears. You guys have seen that on my channel. Like when something really moves me it, and it moves me to tears, I'm not afraid to let the tears flow. You know what I mean? Um, if we get to that point, it, it, you know, I think, what was it? I've never, I think I did cry during my walking dead series. I think I did. I don't remember because it's not many video games can make me cry. Like I, I've never, I think before, before what happened with the walking dead um telltale series like i don't think i've ever cried for a video game man i don't think that has ever happened to me like i think that was the first time and and you know that game the walking dead telltale series is based on story completely so it, it's not like you know the game the gameplay mechanic is not anything to write home about so you know what i'm saying so it, it is what it is you're just making choices and, you know, seeing how the story unfolds. And there were some really sad moments, in it, you know what I mean? So, um, and when you're emotionally attached to something like that, um, you know, it, it's a little different. I think maybe, you know, maybe if I played this game straight, you know, straight through, if I had played this game, it, I probably would have got choked up at the end because it's, very, it, it's a very emotional choice. You know what I mean? So, but it is what it is. Um, I know there's there's probably tons of videos because I never watched any gameplay for Ghost of Tsushima. So, probably because I knew I was going to play it in the future. Um, the only reason why I watched gameplay for um, for Last of Us Part 2 was because 
um, I saw the spoilers. I saw the spoilers and I was like, what is everybody so up in uproar about? About the leaked, the leaked videos that came out about what's going to happen in the game. And once I saw that and I was like, I want to see what is what happens with this story. And I and I watched it not for the gameplay, but to see what the story had to offer, because there's, you know, a couple of channels that I watch, you know what I'm saying, to see when they're playing through certain games that I've gone through already to see what the experience is um, for them. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, this was an awesome experience. I really liked it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and for supporting the videos. I know it wasn't a lot of y'all. I think we were averaging about 20 views per video and that's cool you know what i'm saying i know the videos are long and stuff like that you guys can give me some feedback if you can i mean zero uh, for all the ghost of tsushima gameplays like not even i think maybe i think one maybe one person commented one time i think that was on the last video i did um somebody commented that they were going to watch it on sunday i think that was the only comment on any of the videos like there was no interaction whatsoever. So, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Tell me what I can do better for my gameplays when I upload them. That would be really appreciated. Thank you guys so much, man. I appreciate y'all. And I will catch you guys for the next one. I don't know what that is going to be yet. Peace. The gameplay. <laughs>